<laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> oh, was I sleepwalking? <laughs> Naked again? <laughs> Looking for dick? Oh, man. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, do you enjoy Double Toasted? Then put it on your body. Check out our tpublic.com merch store where you'll find all these wonderful designs that look great on high quality t-shirts with more designs coming soon. Or check out other high quality items such as mugs, pillows, tote bags, and more. Once again, that is tpublic.com, T-E-E public.com. Or click the link in the description below. So one of the biggest rules in slasher movies, and if you follow slasher movies, you know this. You don't have sex. If you want to live, you stay a virgin, or at least you don't be at night. You know this, man. And slashers have actually gotten a little lenient on that today. Because it used to be a time when you couldn't even do any drinking or drugs or anything like true. that. But today, they'll tell you, hey, look, go ahead and drink a little bit. Smoke a little reefer. It's okay. As long as you keep that dick in your pants, keep them legs closed, keep them titties under that shirt. <laughs> on. I just I have one rule around here. <laughs> Party all you want to, but don't y'all be doing no around here. Now you know this. And if you don't do that, then you're good. So in this movie, when a group of sexy people come into this slasher flick and their whole thing is to film a porno, you know that. Pun intended. <laughs> you know that's right? <laughs> they went. They went in wanting to die. But here's something to think about right here. Just to think about this because here's here's some uh, here's some food for thought. So since we're talking about slashes, let's talk about some of the biggest ones out there. We always do. You know, Jason Voorhees because they all these slashes got their excuses. So Jason Voorhees, you know, he's in there killing all these teenagers and everything. What's his excuse, man? Yo, 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 kill my mama. <laughs> Yo, y'all hurt my mama. I'm coming after y'all. Michael, Michael Myers. That's some, you know, what's what's his deal? Pure evil. <laughs> uh, and some 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 shit about Halloween. I still I still don't understand. My sister? Was she my sister? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Halloween just makes me mad. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm still trying to figure that one All out. These kids asking for asking me for candy. Yeah, yeah. Jason, I understand. Yeah, you are talk about my mama, you know. But Michael, I don't understand what the your problem is, but anyway, sure. But think about this. These excuses that they got, what if the whole time they were lying? What if it ain't got nothing to do with their mama? What if it ain't got nothing to do with Halloween and just being pure evil? What if they're, why are they killing all these horny teenagers and all these people having sex? Well, it's because they're horny too. Yeah, I just figure they're incels. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, shit, I don't want some ass too. Ain't, no, ain't nobody trying to give it up to me. What if the whole time they just mad because they just horny? Yeah, like if, if I'm not getting any, yeah. nobody's getting any. <laughs> shit, nobody invited me to the camp or just, you, know, you know, that's the, that, and that is the one thing that I can praise this movie that we're having right here right now that we're going to review. This movie X. Because this movie, <laughs> this movie just got to, it's just straightforward, man. You know, it's honest. In this movie right here, the, the killer that is murdering people, she's doing it because she ain't getting no dick. <laughs> she's mad because she's horny. Okay. Yes. Yeah, she's, okay. it's just a horny, just a horny old broad <laughs> who said, y'all gonna come to my house and stop. <laughs> and nobody gonna invite me. <laughs> y'all make, making a porno. Disrespect. I'm, I'm up here putting on makeup. I'm ready for my shot. I'm ready for my scene. And y'all ain't going to invite me. Okay, I got some for y'all. <laughs> All right. Oh, dude, this is my house. Don't tell me to go away. Screaming every time I come around. All right, I got some. Oh, you horny motherfuckers, man. <laughs> yeah. That is the plot of, to a degree, of X. Now, X is also, I went to see this because everybody was yelling at me online. When are you going to go see X? You're going to go see X. You're going to go see this crazy slasher movie. X. You're going to see this crazy 824, which there is no other kind of 824 movie. All crazy. You're going to see this 824 horror movie. What? I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Chris. What were you telling me earlier that people telling you about uh, this? Oh, this is the slasher to beat for the 2020s. The best slasher of all time. Of all time? Of all yeah. time. Yeah, a lot of people are saying certainly of the last 10 years, 20 years. 
All right, now that's a big, hefty statement right there. Now, 2022, we just getting into it. I'll let you slide with that one right there. But if we're talking about of all time, that's a mighty big statement to make right there. Especially for someone who loves his slasher movies. I love seeing people get torn apart. I love looking at kills in these movies right here. So, you know, I think that that is a very, those are very big shoes to fill. But then again, you could be right. Let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer for X. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> oh, was I sleepwalking? <laughs> Naked again? <laughs> Looking for dick? Oh, man. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'll just take my old ass back to bed. <laughs> you don't want to leave, do you? This is uh, from director Ty West, who has a lot of horror movies under his belt. Uh, very bloody, very visceral horror movies that people have, uh, that people have gotten a lot of acclaim to. Uh, and the plot of this is what you saw. So you got, you got a guy who wants to get into the, he wants to get into the new age of smut, which is video. No need for people to go to the theater anymore and feel shame jacking off next to a stranger right there so yeah. so they ah oh, the good old days the good old days i kind of miss those days but yeah this is 1979 i believe and so video is about to be a big thing as uh, those who live through it know so he takes a team out to the middle of nowhere outside of Houston, Texas, and rents out this it's farmhouse that's all yeah what's that it's always texas it's always mm -hmm. texas well texas is kind of fucked up sometimes and he goes out there and they, and they rent this space, this outside, almost barn-like space from this house, from these two very, very, very elderly people. Thing is, these elderly people don't know that they're going to be shooting a porno there called Farmer's Daughter. Uh, but, like I said, you know, uh, the wife, the old woman... She's just she she gets something is up. She starts creeping around, looking through the windows. <laughs> she can smell it. She can <laughs> smell that dick out there. So she, <laughs> so Those she, fuck she, fumes are just yeah, wafting. She, she smelled that dick out there. So she's like, hey, it's, and it's black too. Ooh, it's my favorite flavor. <laughs> but she says, you know what? I'll take whatever. You know, black, white, female, male. I just ain't had it in a long time. And once uh, once she don't get it, well, <laughs> you know. Things start going off. She says, I, like I told you before, she said, y'all ain't going to let me in on the action? I'll give you some action then. And uh, this is a horror movie, so we can kind of figure out what's going to happen from that point on. Uh, this is also an A24 film. Forget horror film, just film. And all <laughs> A24 movies are kind of crazy. A24 has definitely, definitely released some of the most unique horror movies out there. Of course, there's Hereditary, but then uh, you get into things like you know, it's it's weird too because some of these things don't even seem like they'd be horror movies. Some of them seem downright cheerful. I mean, like for example, you got a nice springtime, sunny, colorful festival going on in Sweden with Midsummer. <laughs> ain't nothing dark about that movie. Shit. It's, ain't nothing dark about that movie. It's one of the most horrifying things I've seen. <laughs> Lamb, which is about a um, uh, um, uh, uh, half human, half lamb, but very adorable mutant lamb child. And that shit ends crazy. I can't yes, even. It does. Have you it's saw it, it, right? Yeah, I finally saw it. I, I mean, I love the movie, but I can't even tell you. <laughs> Open to interpretation. So mm. they are known for making uh, their own very, very uh, unique, almost what you would call art house horror movies. Uh, this right here, as far as X goes, X is probably one of their more mainstream horror, uh, feeling horror films. Um, I guess that this is seen. This this is not you know, for for people who know a twenty four, and you see that that title or that 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 logo at the beginning. You're expecting you're you're expecting something out there. You're expecting something really different. That's, this is really not that different from that's, a lot of horror doesn't movies. Doesn't look like it. No, no, it's not. Uh, this is like I said, it's probably their most mainstream movie. Nothing wrong with that. But if you're going and expecting something out there like. 
Hereditary or Lamb or Midsummer. And I don't think that you're going to get that. Now, again, just hold off. Don't don't think I'm calling this out or saying it's bad or, or you know, it's a formula movie. It's it. It has its things going on, you know, because uh, with this, what makes it sort of feel more mainstream is that it's following a format that's tried and true and that we've seen before. The couple of the house doesn't like them being there, finds out what they're doing. Things go a little bit left. And uh, these this this crew is getting picked off one by one. Sure, we see that all the time in these slasher movies. That's mm-hmm. a that's a format. Wash, rinse, repeat. Yeah, and the whole time you're screaming to the audience, or I'm or the audience rather, if you're somebody like me, you're screaming to the characters on the screen. Why the f- are you doing that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Again, I'm saying that's bad, but I'm just saying there's certain things that you, for example, uh. We're talking about this is in Texas. And Martin just mentioned that this is, uh, you know, it's always, it's always Texas. Everything's up in Texas. Yeah, so, you know, with this, why the f- people, this is not just Texas. This is, the, this is like dirty, out in the middle of nowhere country, fuck Texas, all right? So, you know, you, in the, you got this decrepit house in the South where two scary and old as f- white people live who spend their days lurking in the darkness <laughs> in this filthy ass house that they don't ever clean up <laughs> live it, just live it in filth most likely if that's the case they're going to kill you mm, yeah they were well, talking about some texas right. chainsaw massacre shit right here or if nothing else should be like uh i don't think we can film here let's just go one of the first things you see is ma dukes look, <laughs> looking out the window right there <laughs> that's that's your first sign to turn away. <laughs> this old ass woman up here touching her titties and looking at y'all. You know that you know to leave. She's plotting your death right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. Give me dick or give me death. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Hold on. Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> you kind of working it under that dirt ass gown right there. <laughs> yeah, what the hell you think it's gonna do, man? What she gonna do? You know, a- another thing I'm looking at. And you saw it in the trailer. You know, these are all setups like like that we see in horror movies, and we're screaming at these characters. You know, in a horror movie like this, a slasher film, if there are holes in the wall, and you're roaming around the darkness, and people are missing, don't look through those holes. No. You know you're going to, yes. Yeah. You sharp, know your sharp, eye, what, what is next? Sharp stick in the eye. Yes. Yeah. You know your, kiss your, kiss your eyeballs goodbye. Mm-hmm. You better yeah, get that cane, that tin cup right now. <laughs> you never go out alone. So they got all these tropes in this movie that they're doing that we see in all these films here. Um, but it's A24. But it's A24. <laughs> and that's the thing. It's A24 and A24, got, they, got that, they got that reputation. Now, What well, happens in 1979 when people were dumber then and didn't know these things? That is true. <laughs> and they're all horny anyway, so they ain't thinking right. <laughs> now, where this stands out is that where it has that A24 twist, I'm talking about how this, you know, you got this, because uh, this being a slasher movie, maybe they're following certain tropes that we see all the time, but they're going to give you something unique. If the slasher format is, a, is, is something that's familiar, at least they'll give you a unique slasher villain, a killer, like Black Phillip. Yeah. You know, like, a goddamn goat was the killer in one of their movies, man. A black ass goat. That's <laughs> one of their don't, killers, don't man. Don't sleep on Black mm-hmm. Phillip. And high body count. Yeah, and high body count. Don't sleep. Don't you say don't sleep on? Don't sleep on Black Phillip. <laughs> Shit, like, bitch, I'm the goat. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> what makes this really crazy is, uh, is that the slasher here, and I don't want to, you know, it's not too much of a spoiler because you see what's happening here, but the slasher here is, is a horny old woman. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> She's killing people because she's mad because nobody's her. I mean, that's the, that is, <laughs> and I kind of love that, man. D- does anybody try? <laughs> she tries. I mean, she just be rolling up on people, and people, and they're kind of cool for a while because people are like, what? Are you doing? <laughs> she, she's, is she grabbing hands and putting them on her titties and everything? Like, what? Jeez. Why are you doing this? Man? She, oh. Sliding in bed with people, touching asses. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, grandma had to try to get it, man. <laughs> All this could have been avoided. 
All this could have been avoided if her husband was just digging her down, man. Yeah, I was, I, that was going to be my question. What's he doing? He man, can't every, get up anymore, man. He's too old, bro. Every time she tried to get up on him, man, she's like, please, please, give it to me, please. And he's like, oh, you you know my heart can't take it. Oh. <laughs> it's like, you just, <laughs> just trying to hit that. Yeah, <laughs> oh, what, but, what, but what if my heart gives out? <laughs> and she, it's like, damn, you know what? Like, like, I'm sure she's like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. No, she, that's your problem. She don't care, man. She, <laughs> She's like, hey, look, okay. When they die, that's on you. <laughs> when I'm roaming through this house, with my with my old ass and titties hanging out. Because <laughs> well, they're, they're 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 porno actors. One of them can't just go like, well, it's for the job. It's for the team. Like, take one yeah, for the team. Take one for the team. Yeah. But they don't know what's happening. No, they don't. They don't know she's gonna go around and start killing people. <laughs> they're like, you know, because well, if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> now she said. Now she told somebody like, you better f- yeah, you. I'm gonna kill you. So they probably all right. Shit, you got a deal. <laughs> but she don't do that. It's either like. Is 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 okay? Here's how it goes. She either goes, so she rolls up on you, and she starts rubbing you down and everything. So either you win, and if and or if you start refusing, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, That's quick answer. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Hey, what, hey, what you got behind your back? Yes, no, yes, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. She, hey, hey, no room for negotiation. I'm old. <laughs> But yeah, that's this freaky aspect of the movie is the thing that's putting it over in that territory. Was like, okay, this is this this is beyond slasher territory. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is uh, this is crazy. Okay. Yeah. So that right there, I, I actually love that. Uh, also, a lot of a uh, lot of nudity, a lot of simulated sex. And, you know, they're not being shy about that. They don't get too graphic because I read it. There's a lot of stuff that's talking about how graphic this movie is. And it's not, man. I, I will have to say that y'all, you, people need to settle down on that, man. Um, but this, but as far as the nudity goes, yeah, there's a lot of nudity in here. There's a lot of grandma, a lot of grandpa's asses out. Kid Cuddy, uh, uh, he's the main one. He spends about he spends about a third of this movie with his ass just hanging out. <laughs> Penis and silhouette. <laughs> and I love his name. His name is Jackson Hole. <laughs> oh, that's a good name. <laughs> I love that name. That's a, that's a name. great poor name right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ass just hanging out, getting that breeze, man. So yeah, a lot of nudity in here. But for those of you thinking that you're gonna go see something where it's uh you 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 are almost watching an NC seventeen porn flick, you're not. I've seen it worse than some other things. Okay. You know, I've seen it. And when I say worse, I mean worse. I've seen it more. I've seen it pushed further in some other some other movies and shows. But, yeah, I mean, they definitely, they're not shy about it here. And nor should they be. They're filming a porn. You know, that's what they should do. And this would be a perfect time for me to take a break and tell you a little. Now, I didn't do no crazy segue. You, and you I didn't, just, I warned you didn't, y'all. You didn't I warned it. y'all. You I, wa- you I, I warned you, Martin. I, I wasn't going to give you a hard time about it. I warned you, Chris. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, know. I didn't say, I, I didn't do I nothing, nothing to say. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I will say, though, since we're talking about sexy people, let me tell you something that got me looking real sexy right now. I might not be in no porno. I might not be making no porno, but my wife looked at me like I was a porn star when she saw these drawers I was wearing. <laughs> these underwear. <laughs> I got to tell you, I really love this underwear that I got from Bombas. And I'm not kidding either. Bombas, they, they specialize in underwear, uh, T-shirts, Socks and slippers. Yeah, I've seen you wearing their socks. Yes, I actually wore. Them, I had them. I wore them today, man. Uh, I've got about three pairs of socks that they sent me. I have them right here. I actually really enjoy these socks. They're comfortable. They're not, you know, they're not those like knee high socks or anything like that. So they, these are the kind of socks I love wearing with uh, low top sneakers, man. But boy, y'all don't make me. Put, don't you make me pull my pants down like I had to do with the, like I had to do with with Carlos because Carlos called me out. He said, because I, I was talking about the how they, Bomba sent me socks and they sent me underwear. And I told Carlos, I said, man, I'm wearing the underwear right now. And I just, not, it's, it's an accident that I actually have it on because they, I love this underwear that they sent me. Yeah. And he's like, oh, you a goddamn liar. You're probably not even wearing those. And I said, all right, here you go. And I'll pull my you, pants. You let him trick you Mark, like that? Yeah, Martin, I wouldn't <laughs> ask you that. <laughs> he got you. He yeah, played he, you. You know what? He got me good. Yeah. And he got me in one of my finest moments because I was wearing that underwear, man. And uh, I love the underwear that they have here, man. They're kind of the ones that come down to your thigh. Yeah, yeah, I like those. Yeah, I love those, man. And uh, they got some for women too, and they're they're very they're very comfortable. 
And they're very sexy, too. They look very nice. Like I said, my wife came back from Istanbul, and I had them drawers ready for her when she saw it. You're like, Dad, you get those for me? I'm like, sure. <laughs> you, Carlos. Where, where's yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoever's in line <laughs> to get all, hey, there's enough sexiness to go around. But that's, you know, I'm making them this seem like it's, you know, mostly an aesthetic thing. You know, they're not meant to just make you look hot. I mean, they're very comfortable. Uh, Material is very nice, and this is what I really appreciate about Bombas over here, is that, uh, yes, they have their socks and their t-shirts and their underwear, uh, and, they're, and they are very comfortable. They feel very good. Uh, they're soft. They, ain't, they don't have any seams. They ain't got no tag to rub up against your back and your ass and all that kind of stuff. Uh, super soft material. Uh, Prima cotton, cashmere. Uh, and let me see here. Um, just going up to some of the designs they have here, because these these are all practical, man. These are, they're not they don't have any big designs on them, no big logos, very basic, which is what I like. I love this. Uh, Bombas actually donates a lot to the homeless. That's uh, the main thing that homeless people need and want is clean socks. Yes, mm. socks, underwear, and t-shirts are the most requested items at homeless shelters. And they donate one item for every item that you buy. Bombas.com forward slash toasted. And when you use that code, get 20% off any purchase. I want to thank Bombas for supporting this portion of the show. And I want to thank you out there for your support, as always. Oh, let's see here. Here's something with this, man. So... A lot of people are talking about, not only with the sex, because they're like, oh my God, you know, this is so graphic. I don't think it is. And the violence in this, man, the other night I was walking by and somebody walked out. I was at the Alamo. We went to go see that movie, uh, uh, Everywhere, Always, Everything, Whatever. But somebody was walking out because I said, what movie is this? And I walked in to see real quick and uh, it was this movie. And somebody walked out talking about, man, it was one of the most violent things I've ever seen. Uh, I was so prepared to like be shocked watching this and i wasn't yeah i don't mm. think the vi the kills cool they're fine but i don't even think it's cool that they're not that gratuitous uh i've seen a lot of slasher stuff i've seen a lot of gratuitous violence and you have too and you have sure, too lately sure. um just saw saw texas chainsaw massacre that was way more bloody and violent mm. than this damn that that foo fighters horror movie that came out studio 666 this place man let's finish the track can we just wait dude uh, th th that that uh, shit. An episode of the boys, is that 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 trailer that we just saw for yeah. the boys? That trailer alone was probably way more violent than this movie. Too. <laughs> yeah, people. I, I, so I think people are getting wrapped up in some hype here talking about how this is so gory, it's yeah. so graphic, it's one of the most violent and shocking movies. That I, people, calm your ass down. That, I, I really don't think that's the case. Okay. When the Foo Fighters have a more violent movie <laughs> than you, then you're probably not the most graphic and shocking violent movie out there, but that's not a bad thing. Hmm. The kills are good, mm -hmm. it's cool. You can ask about the kills, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, anytime, I, I appreciate a good tire being rolled over a big ass head. You know, I, <laughs> cantaloupe. <laughs> cantaloupe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I will say this is that uh, I looked at the end credits. People, if you see this, or if you go see it again, there is a stinger at the end okay. of the movie. So you got to sit and watch all those credits. But watching those end credits, man, uh, it really kind of. It really kind of nailed what they were doing with this movie and what they were trying to do. And with all the sex and all the violence that they're doing, and even being set in the 1970s, if this is, I think it is 1979, uh, they're making a grindhouse film. Mm -hmm. You know, they, and, and it's, a, it's a very good grindhouse movie. You don't have all those gimmicks in there. It's not like what they did that time when uh, you had, you know, Tarantino and, and Rodriguez doing their version of Grindhouse. Only this time, they're back to back. Open that door, will you, baby? You know, this was kind of a little too precious. It was like, look at us. Mm. Look at we. Hey, we're we're really aware of what we're doing. Is aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, they, aren't we cool? You're yeah. on the joke with yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I like Planet Terror. I did not like uh, Road Rage, whatever the thing was called. Uh, Kurt Russell. Drive Hard. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah. Yo, what was the name? Of that yeah, uh, I forgot hard. what it was. <laughs> yeah, but 
De- death proof. Death, death proof. proof. Right. I I really did enjoy Planet Terror. I thought it was fun, but still, I thought like, man, you know what? Mm. When you have, when your movie relies on so many gimmicks, instead of just making a movie, it just kind of took you out. It took it took you out of it a little bit. This is not relying on those gimmicks. They just went out and made a straightforward film, and they didn't have to like remind you every minute that this is 1970s. Mm-hmm. They didn't have to give you some fake ass, you know, film grain or anything like that. Mm. It, you know, it's it's doing its thing and it's doing it well. Uh, the end credits, the reason why I feel like Grindhouse, the end credits reminded me of that. Uh, it reminded me of that of that uh, uh, of that show. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Fear Street. Uh, Fear Street was the one that came in. It was uh, it was a take Netflix on slasher series. films. Mm-hmm. It was done in three different periods: the '90s, the '80s, and the '70s. And uh, you know, looking at what they did with Fear Street kind of makes me feel like what they were doing with the, this movie right here too. Are you okay? That was 1978, 5,937 days ago. And by the way. Fear Street actually had gorier kills mm. than this wow. movie did. Yeah, yeah. It, it did have some gory kills. Yo, yeah. yeah, I mean. They killed a lot of kids in that in, in They kill a <laughs> shitload of kids in that movie, man. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying this is a competition. I don't mind that uh, X is not as gratuitous. I mean, I love a good face being split open, but I, you know, I'm not. <laughs> but but no, shit. but no, this felt like it was. It didn't feel like it was going overboard. Mm. You know, X did it in a way where it felt like, all right, you know what? This this is a natural time to have a nice, gory death. And uh, and they did. They did that thing. Cool. I tell you, the movie's directed pretty well. They set it up pretty good, man. I love the setup where the movie opens up with with the sheriffs coming up on a lot of blood. You know, it's, there's been a massacre. And you just kind of feel like, yeah, these sheriffs come up and there's, we. this is the aftermath before we even get in. That there's that. The sheriffs are there on the scene, bodies everywhere. Our movie opens up, there's a cow in the middle of the road, guts spilled out. That cow is almost telling, like, yeah, you know what's up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, this is just the beginning. You know, it's uh, yeah, they're running over guts and everything. It really is a setup mm. let you know that something f-ed up is about to happen. And the setup is great because you see all this blood being set up. And then the movie just goes through a nice, quiet lull. And you just sitting up there just dreading like when this shit is going to hit. Because <laughs> it's going to hit. <laughs> and it's all I like, I like when horror movies do that, where they kind of do this thing, where they make it nice and quiet and just keep your ass waiting before when things really go nuts. It's the roller coaster on that first ascent. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's a whole buildup, man. It just makes the violence is about to hit more, suspense, more suspenseful. Impressed with the casting here, man. Uh, kid, I tell you, there's a lot of people who are... Coming along very well as actors, man. Kid Cudi. Yeah. I, I, I've liked him in everything I've seen him in. This guy is really coming along as an actor, man. He's, 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 he's great in this. It's probably one of the best things that I've seen him in. Okay. Uh, because he has to play, you know, he has to play a, a, a character against type that he has. Mm-hmm. You, know, uh, he, you know, he plays his old southern, good old southern black dude, Marine. And, uh, you know, he got this old country, uh, look, real country ass accent. Mm-hmm. He's he's really good in this man. I really, I really enjoyed the cast here. Uh, Jenna Ortega, her character has some surprises. This chick, I'm gonna talk about this. What's that? She's doing very well for herself. Man, this chick is coming along very well in the horror genre. She was just in. uh, She was in. Scream. She was in Scream. Mm -hmm. This isn't funny, Amber. Would you like to play a game? She was also in something else. Uh, Studio 66. Yeah. She was in that also. Right. Uh, in, in the beginning. I think she was one of the girls getting murdered. So she's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's making a good name for herself. All these people in here are good, man. Uh, and there's some really good scenes, especially when they're sitting around just talking. To them. Some of the best scenes when they're talking about porn <laughs> instead of talking <laughs> about uh, the, you know, the killings or the creepiness that's happening because, you know, there's a, there's a lot of different attitudes that people have mm-hmm. on porn here. And okay. Like Jenna Ortega, you know, she's the new girl. They call her the church mouse. And, and she's the one that's wondering, like, how do y'all just, how do y'all just f- each other? You know, and y'all supposed, y'all call each other boyfriend and girlfriend and you love each other. So how, how does this work out when y'all just do this? I just don't get it. I've seen you sneaking a few long peeks at Jackson over here. We turn folks on. And that scares them. We're like a foxy car wreck. Mm-hmm. 
Boy, I was getting so hard watching that scene. <laughs> I was getting turned on. Shit, I want to make a movie. <laughs> no, 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 you go up there with the old lady. I would have given him the grandma. Yeah, shit, I would have survived. <laughs> shit, I, yeah, let's do it, grandma. She, she would have been running. Great y'all ass in. You came to me. Uh, yeah, some really, man, some really good scenes in there. They're all really good actors. I tell you, the one that, um, that that's some really good casting here. Because she's always kind of, and not, not, nothing against her, because she is, she is a beautiful, beautiful girl. She really is. She's just unique looking. And that is uh, Mia Goth. She's just weird looking because sometimes it looks like she has no eyebrows. Right. Yeah. That's what does it. Yeah. I think she, her, her eyebrows are just really light, but it looks like she has no eyebrows. But she. Because she's got dark hair. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. So I don't know what it is, but she's beautiful in this movie. She's sexy. So if anybody ever had any doubts about this chick, she's a. Uh, in this movie, she's very hot, man. Because uh, of course, she's a she's a porn actress, and there's you know scenes a lot of scenes of nudity with her in there. Uh, and I tell you, uh, she uh, she plays two roles in the movie. So in addition to playing uh, the uh, you know the I forgot the actress I mean the character's name. Uh, I forgot what her name was, but. Anyway, she plays the character who's going to be one of the actors in the movie, and she also plays the old woman, Pearl. I think oh, is really? Name. Oh, so that's yeah. just that, that's not like an old actress. That's what I assumed. <laughs> Look I mean, at I thought it was like makeup, but I just figured it was somebody who was old. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, exactly. No, when wow, you want some good makeup, then. <laughs> no, it's, it's very good makeup. Now it helps that they keep it in a lot of it in shadow. Uh, uh but yeah, I, I'm now I might be wrong, but I think that's her playing two parts. Uh, she plays the act, the young actress, and then she plays Pearl, the old woman. Uh, wow! And I think this is the case because the the the, the teaser or the, the stinger mm. at the end uh, indicated that that was the case. Okay. So yeah, so she plays, and really, interesting. Uh, you weren't thinking about it because after a while, you can tell that that's makeup. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, even in the dark, you can tell that that's a young person built up an old person makeup. But the makeup is excellent in this. Mm. Uh, but uh, if you didn't know that it was the same chick. Uh, I wouldn't blame you because she does a good job at playing a different old woman. Okay. You know? Yeah, she does very, nice. very good. Um, and you other girls in there, you might have you might have recognized from uh, like this girl right here. You might recognize her from. Uh, oh, Brittany Snow. Yeah. Brittany yeah. Snow. I've seen her. For, for, I haven't seen her in a while, but she used to be in a lot of stuff. Yeah, she was. What was that movie of the singing and all that? Uh, uh, oh, y'all know what it is. The one where they do a lot of acapella. Oh, oh. Um, uh, Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect. Yeah, she was in those oh. movies. and So, yeah. As I said, everybody getting naked in here, too, boy. Everybody. I'll tell you who I was really impressed with was uh, the executive producer. Uh, this guy right here. Because this dude, I believe this is the guy from Torque. Oh, uh, what is that guy's name? Martin Henderson. I believe... Oh. I oh really? Yeah, I think that he was in Torque at the time because at the time he looked like a, a young Kurt Russell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was, I think that was him. Under the insanity of this old woman going around murdering people because she's because he's horny. Uh, outside of that, it's a pretty straightforward film, sticking to a very familiar format. But that insane part of it is it it really does make it it's, it makes the movie step up a bit. Movies edited very good. They just do these slides. They're not really Star Wars slides. They just, <laughs> those, those wipes. Weird, those those wipes. wipes. Yeah, it's weird wipes. Like, they don't do a wipe and there's a rooster standing there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right. And doing a fun grindhouse movie with no annoying gimmicks. This was very good, man. Hmm. I give this an extremely high matinee. Okay. I, yes, it is one of the best slasher movies in, you know, in a long time. You know, because we don't get a whole lot of them, but it's up there with a lot of other good slasher movies. But, you know, you get stuff like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, this is great. So it's up there, but as far as like talking about how graphic it is and how, you know, this is the the best slasher movie in, you know, in 10, 20 years, I, it's a little extreme to me. I didn't find it as shocking as people said it was going to be. It really wasn't. It wasn't as violent, wasn't as sexual, but still very good. It did what it had to do very well. It's a grindhouse movie that's done awesome. So yeah, high, high matinee for me. I enjoyed this a lot. I okay. highly recommend people go see it if you're looking for a fun popcorn flick to go watch with your friends. Go watch at the Alamo, one of those places. Yeah. Uh, I had a real good time watching it. I had a, I had a Beyond Burger Mushroom Burger today. Mm. It was good. Mm. Very nice. 
two. two <laughs> yeah. I also might have been drunk. I had two Bloody Marys, so maybe that's why I enjoyed <laughs> this too. So. I can have this in the morning. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but I tell you this, I tell you this, I, I really think the slasher genre is doing well, man, as far as doing equal opportunity. You know, between uh, between Michael Myers with his old ass and now this chick, it's like ageism don't exist in slasher I'm movies sure. now. That's, giving, that's where they're giving these people more of a chance now. Sure, and how old was Leatherface in that new te Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Yeah, he was up there too. He had to have been. Yeah. 70 plus of New Orleans. Sit with y'all's old ass, man. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Equal opportunity here. Keep Shit. killing the young folks. Show, yeah. show them how it's done. And this is my favorite <laughs> one. You ain't going to me, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. 